Cause we is back once again with another reaction video, bro. And today we got a video I'm about to react to, man. And we, we got another scary story time once again. Cause guess what? I love reacting to the story these story times, bro. So let's get it on popping, man. Welcome back for today or today's reactions. We kicking it off right here, right now, man. So let's go. Like and subscribe if you guys are new. Go down, like and subscribe. And if you don't subscribe to the channel, at least hit the like button, man. Dang. Let's get it. Let's go. Welcome back to all my returning subscribers. Thanks for being here, man. Let's get it on. Three creepy true beach stories, man. Let's get it. Is it really true or is it made up? That's all I want to know. <clears throat> Let's get it. Story number one, we were going to do video by video with these stories. When I was in my senior year of high school, 17 years old, all that was on my and my friends' minds were was girls. The beach. Oh. There was one girl in particular in my physics class that I was really into. <laughs> her name was Tiffany. Tiffany. Some guys called her Crazy Tiff because she was super hot, but also apparently really crazy according to her exes. That's irrelevant to this story though. Basically, my best friend CJ managed to get one of Tiffany's best friends, Gianna, to agree to come hang out at some beach with him and I that night since it was a Friday and the weather was warm. The best part, Tiffany agreed to come with. <laughs> this was it, my big chance with Crazy Tiff. <laughs> crazy CJ pulled so up to my to house at 10 o'clock that night. I hopped in shotgun and we went to pick up Tiffany and Gianna. On our way there, we agreed our first priority was getting me alone with Tiffany and CJ getting alone with Gianna. I was extremely nervous, but when Tiffany and Gianna got in the car, things were actually going pretty smoothly. CJ and I managed to make them laugh a bunch of times. <laughs> By the time we got to the beach, I was confident Tiffany and I would vibe really well alone. I don't remember the, the tiny details night. of what happened after we stepped out of the car and onto the dunes, but I do remember the beach being completely void of any other people, and CJ somehow managed to go off alone with Gianna into the darkness after a few minutes, just like we planned. Tiffany and I took a walk down to the water and wet our feet and whatnot. Then we just laid in the sand and talked for a while. <laughs> Things were going smoothly until Tiffany pointed out to the ocean. What is that? She said. I looked to where she was pointing but didn't see anything. I was laughing at her apparent delusion and got up to go closer to the water in hopes of maybe seeing what she saw. My feet touched the cold water and that's when I was close enough to see it. There was a long, vertically standing object in the water. I inched a little closer and saw it move. I jumped out of the water and ran back to Tiffany. It's a person, I said quietly to her. It was truly bizarre, the fact that anyone would be in the freezing cold water at this hour. Uh -huh. Tiffany wanted to move because she was uncomfortable, and it seemed like whoever it was was just watching us. You gotta detect Tiffany. Somehow it just felt like that. So we took a walk further down the beach until we thought we had privacy. We sat back down on the beach with nothing but the sound of the ocean waves and our voices. But Tiffany was once again the one to point out something. Do you hear that? She asked me. I did kind of hear it. It was like a smaller kind of splashing sound, but it stopped just as soon as it started. We looked out to the ocean and I heard Tiffany gasp. The guy was out there again. I was going to go out there and tell him to back off, but Tiffany told me let's just go. Yeah, Low key, I was hoping she would. I just wanted to look tough in front of her. <laughs> we got back to the car. CJ and Gianna weren't back yet. Where are they at? Suddenly, my phone started blowing up with texts, all from CJ. <laughs> Apparently, he'd been texting me in some kind of panic the whole time we were on the beach. Oh my god! I guess I didn't have reception out by the water. Everything started blowing up. He texted bing, me bing, first bing, saying, Dude, bing. some weird guy is in the water watching <laughs> us. And then, yo, some weird deformed looking guy is stalking us. Get to the car now. What? Oh Five my minutes gosh. later, he sent a couple other texts, basically panicking over being followed by something in the dark. Keyword, something. Not something. someone, something. <laughs> the second to last text said he was coming to look for us and to answer when I got this. His last text was, we're on our way back to the car now, get there. He also tried calling me three times apparently. That's scary. I called him back at once and he picked up right away out of breath, not even letting me speak. All he asked was if we were at the car and I said yes. He said good, stay right there and hung up the phone. 
<laughs> Less than 30 seconds later, Gianna and CJ came out of the surrounding darkness next to the Jeep. Oh my gosh. He explained the best he could while trying to catch his breath that some deformed looking creature walking on two legs was following them. I didn't know whether to laugh at what he said or not. I told him about how we saw someone in the water too. He asked me to describe what it looked like. I kept getting confused by his way of describing the person, as if they were a creature. I told him it looked like a really tall, lanky person standing in the water. He said he got a chance to get a closer look at it, and it was some kind of deformed humanoid thing. Tiffany and I looked at each other, and now we kind of nervously laughed. What he was saying was just too bizarre, but I think parts of both of us took him seriously. Gianna vouched for what he was saying. That scream made us all jump into the car. It was some kind of half-human, half-demonic kind of screaming. I can't describe it, you just have to hear it. Needless to say, we were all frantic in the car, asking Man. CJ questions mainly. But closer that. to the end of the ride, we all grew silent. I guess we were all just lost in our thoughts about what just happened. To give you an idea of how quickly all this happened, we were on the dunes for about half an hour. After I heard that sound, that scream, I did start to believe CJ partially, but I still feel like what I saw in the ocean was a person. It was but no CJ's person. CJ's way of describing Dude. who or what was following him as some kind of deformed humanoid thing on the beach humanoid is what still thing. freaks me out the most. Deformed humanoid. <laughs> Bro, that is not no person. Who was in the water 3, 4, or not 3, 4 in the morning, but like... 10 o'clock p.m. 10 o'clock at night. Ain't nobody. I mean, it, it, somebody could be randomly in the water, but how can they just come out of nowhere? I mean, if you if you stare out in the, in, in the water and you just see somebody come out out of nowhere, how is that possible? Where do they do this? Come from the? If, where do they uh, Aquaman? Where do they just come from underneath the water? Come on now, where do they come from? If, if it was like a direct, you know what I'm saying? Like out out looking in the ocean, but we're about to watch. We're about to wait for story two. Uh, let me know what y'all thought, bro. Like, that's that's crazy, man. Some deformed humanoid thing. <laughs> that's creepy, dude. That's scary. I can I can never I can never do these reaction like reactions to these scary stories at night, bro. I would never be able to do that. Uh, just sitting here and yeah, I won't be able to do it. Let me know what y'all thought of this story, bro. If y'all got scared of the story, uh, thanks for watching with me. It's cool though. I like I like reacting to these. That's why I'm doing it. But uh, let me know. I'm going to catch y'all in the next story, bro, right here. So just come back and uh, stay tuned for that. Until then, man, I'm gone. Make sure you like and subscribe. If you're new, go down, hit the like button, and subscribe to the channel, man, for more reactions. And if you don't subscribe to the channel, at least hit the like button, man. Dang.